Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Digital Signatures workflow in XDoc. The Digital Signatures in XDoc are legally binding digital signatures which are tracked throughout the different document stages. And they also appear with date and timestamps, hence they are legally binding. So let me quickly show you how you can use digital signatures and make them part of your document. On any document, you probably have a sign off page like this one, or you could have multiple sign off pages at, at different sections in your document. Just mark the location where you would like your customers and yourself or your internal organization signatures, and then click on add element. and choose signature. Now under the signees field, you will have, first of all, the contact or the people inside your organization who you would want to sign this document. First one will be your name because you're the owner of the document. And then you would have a list of contacts inside the client company who you wanna send this document for signatures. So you first select the client who you would like to sign this document. You could either choose to add initials or full signatures. Let's say I wanna add the full signature. Then I can choose where I wanna drop the signature. Mark that location and click on it. Click on it again to place it at the desired location. Then let's add an internal signature. I want to sign this document as well. So I will mark the signee as myself, which is Sam, and then click on add signature and place it where you'd like to place it. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. Once your document is finished, you will see all the signature places have been marked. Now you could send this document to your customer. To send this document to your customer click on actions and click on review and submit. Now you can mark this document as a copy to yourself or blind copy to others. And you can choose the text that you want to put in the mail body. This is the preview that you will get if you go to the client. The mail will go from your name to the customer. If you don't want to use this email from X10AV or XDOP servers, you can also copy a URL and put it in your email and send it to the customer. Once you're done with the changes, click on send to client. The proposal has been sent to the client and it will automatically move from the draft stage to the sent stage. This document is now under the, the test templates is now under the send documents. And if you go and see the activity logs, you'll find it that it has been sent the document to the customer. Now let's see how the email appears to the customer. So this is how the email will appear to the customer. And once they click on it, this is how they will see the document in their own computer, laptop or desktop or mobile. The good thing with XDoc is that this document is easily accessible on any device. You don't need to download a heavy PDF file. So this is how it will appear to the client. They can scroll and go through the document and all the things that you have put in the, in the document. And go to the sign off page. And this is where they'll see the place where they would need to sign. Either they can click on sign here or just click on signature button. They could draw a signature if they wish to, or they can just also type in their name and then click on sign and then click on accept. So now this document has been signed by the customer and you will see the document appears with the date and the timestamp. Now let's go back to the XDoc dashboard and see at what stage the document has moved into. So the document 
if you refresh this page the test templates will move into view once all the parties sign it you will see uh, that it will move under accepted so let's sign it internally as well so let's go on the sign off page and let sam should also do the signature accept it now we'll see both the signatures are in place with the date and the time stamps now you can go back to the dashboard and you will see the document has moved automatically under accepted stage and if you'll go under actions under activity logs you will find all the logs when the customer has signed it when the internal people has signed it and when everyone has signed it you will also get these alerts over your email you will see once the final document has been signed the client will receive an email like this and they can download it in it as a pdf So that's how the digitally binding, leg, uh, legally binding digital signatures work in XDoc and XDNAB. Hope you liked the video. To learn more about XDoc, keep watching. Thank you.